this week we are covering a little bit of everything. So we're going to talk about African American sexuality, we're going to talk about um, sex and aging, um, the history of vibrators, and sexual communication, um, sex worker rights, yes, and sex worker rights. So that's Um, some of the texts and pamphlets and little chapbooks from the 50s and 60s are way more comprehensive than you would ever think they would be, um, but with limitations. So they may discuss biology and anatomy, they may discuss the mechanics of sex, they may even cover birth control options um, and abortion, which of course was illegal at the time, um, and even some of the birth control was illegal at the time. Um, but they do it um, in a very rigid way. So it's a doctor presenting the information, presenting it to a married heterosexual white couple. Um, and really the purpose of the information is so that they can have a baby. Even with the birth control section in there, it's still this pro-baby message. So, Well, the vibrators have been around probably for a little over 100 years. But um, the reason they came about is much, much older. So um, if you look at medical history, probably the most frequent di medical diagnosis for women was hysteria, okay? Um, and the cure for hysteria was, let me see if I can get this right. Oh, hysterical paroxysm. That was, that was the cure. Um, and it started out either with a water method. You can find that image online. It's like a giant water hose pointed at your crotch. I don't really get it, but you know, I guess it worked for some people. Um, and then, you know, doctors were doing manual manipulations in their offices. And then, I guess it became tiresome. Of course, women kept going back for more and more treatments. You know, they weren't getting any better, but they really liked the cure. Um, and so doctors, you know, their arms were getting tired. <laughs> there was fatigue involved. And so they created these machines, some of which are hand crank um, before there was electricity, um, some of which were plug in as, you know, electricity became more mainstream. And then, you know, it goes on from there to be rechargeable, battery powered, things like that.